Welcome everybody, Gazrath here, and today we're going to build a counter. And in our previous videos we created a leaderboard and an achievement gizmo, and basically what happens is as you enter your hand inside the trigger inside this box, your counter will go up and your achievements will pop based on how many times you have done so. However, this time around, as we enter our hand into the box, a counter will increase and stop when we remove our hand like so. Okay. But how do we do this? Let's go into build mode and I have a text box, I have a sound effect, and I have our trigger. I'm using the same trigger as our leaderboard script and I have added a few variables. We created the SFX object variable, a text box object variable, a time string variable, and two number variables called second and millisecond. So when the trigger is entered by the player, we are running all our previous scripts from the previous videos. However, we're also setting our millisecond and our second variables to zero. Then we are sending an event called counter to self. And counter is right here. So when counter is received with no special variables, we're setting millisecond to millisecond plus one, so it increases every time this event is getting called. Then we're checking if millisecond is greater than or equal to 10. If so, we are setting millisecond back to zero, then we're setting second to second plus one. That way second increases every time millisecond reaches 10. And we're playing the sound effect. We're setting time to second as a string, plus, I always forget what they're called, plus millisecond as string. Then we're displaying the time string on our text box over here, and we're resending, we're creating a loop, we're sending counter to self after 0.1 seconds. And then when our trigger is exited by player, we are canceling the send event for counter. Our trigger, we have our sound effects, our time beep sound effects, so it plays this sound and it'll play that sound every time we reach a second. We have our text box, which is right here. The only thing I changed is in attributes, I changed its color to black, so that way you could see it on the leaderboard. But everything else is the same. Then I have our time and our second and millisecond variables, which are zeroed out. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. So just to go over it one more time, when we enter our hand, it'll reset to zero and it'll continue to increase, beeping every second, and our leaderboard score increased. So it's at 25, now it's at 26, and it continues to increase. Another thing you could do, say like you wanted to do a race, you could have a start trigger here and a finish trigger here, and then you would just have to move this cancel send event on the finish line, but instead of to self, you would have to create another variable, name it start line trigger, and then just connect the two like we we're connecting them here. And then that will send the cancel event back to the first trigger stopping the timer and you can then set this variable to like a player prefab but for this this tutorial this is pretty much what we're going to cover if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below if you like the video or if it helped you please like and subscribe because i'm going to be making many more tutorials have a good one